if you couldn't get the PlayStation 5 because it was sold out, don't trip because the PlayStation 4 is still good. But before we get started, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn those notifications on. Now let's get back to it. The PlayStation 4 is good in 2020. The first reason why is because the PlayStation 4 been good. In 2019, it was good. And in 2020, it's still good. Even with the PlayStation 5 out, that does not change. Think about it like this. Megan Thee Stallion looks good. I mean, she's, she's beautiful. Her skin looks soft and she's curvy. Now, if a new artist dropped an album right now, Megan Thee Stallion don't stop being beautiful. Her skin still looks soft and them curves don't go nowhere. Same thing with the PlayStation 4. Even though the PS5 is out, the PlayStation 4 doesn't stop being a good gaming console. The graphics still look great. The gaming library don't stop working. And, you know, it's, it's still curvy. Which brings us to reason number two. Not the curves, but the games. You know what games they got on PlayStation 5? The same exact games as PS4! But, but PlayStation 5 has the new Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh wait. PlayStation 4 got that too. But but PlayStation 5 got the new Madden 21. Oh. PlayStation 4 has Madden 21 too. As a matter of fact, PlayStation 4 has had that game since August. But PlayStation 5 has backwards compatibility for over 4,000 PlayStation 4 games. 4,000 PlayStation 4 games that you could just play on PlayStation 4. For probably the next year or two, everything released on PlayStation 5 will also be released on PlayStation 4 with the exact same gameplay. Yeah, Megan Thee Stallion starting to look real good now, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Wait, did I just call PlayStation 4 Megan Thee Stallion? I was trying to compliment her and the PlayStation. I don't know if that came out right. Reason number three, why the PS4 is still good in 2020? Because of price and availability. If you want the PS5 right now, it's pretty tough to get a hold of one because they're sold out in pretty much every store, Walmart, Amazon, uh, Target, Best Buy, it's hard to get a hold of them. So your only option right now, or one of the few options is to buy from a reseller or a scalper and they've just driven the prices just way too high. Like I said in my last video, I've seen people reselling PS5 for like $1,700 last week. And by now the prices have gone up even more like over $2,000, which is not a smart investment into a system with so few games. But guess what you can get that's not sold out and actually has games? A PS4. Hmm. Guess what you can get that's not $1,700 or $2,000? A 50 cent honey bun. Now, I'm not saying that the PS5 is not good and I'm not saying that I'm not eventually gonna buy the PS5. But what I am saying is that right now, it's just not that much more valuable than the PS4 for me to be tripping about it being sold out or do something stupid like buy it from a reseller. So right now, I'm just gonna rock with what I got. I'm gonna play my PS4. I'm gonna wait until Sony drops the price of the PS5 until they actually add more games to the library and just give a value to me other than just me saying, hey, I bought a PlayStation 5 to play PlayStation 4 games. So that's what I'm waiting on. All right, guys, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. See you next video.